In the last activity, your students built an infrared receiver that took a changing infrared signal and turned it into sound. They used a TV remote to test it, and that signal turned into beeping. Well now, in activity four, they're going to build a circuit that turns the music signal from activities one and two, which is an electrical signal, into a light signal by turning an LED on and off. That light signal will either be visible light or infrared light. That light signal will then be picked up by our receiver and turned into music. The receiver transmitter pair will transmit over a few inches distance, but it will work very well. While building our infrared music transmitters, we will come across a few more new circuit components. These include an infrared LED, a transistor, and a potentiometer. The transistor in this circuit serves to amplify the electrical signal that is sent to the LED. The infrared LED converts electrical energy into light. Again, the longer wire is positive and the shorter wire is negative. Be sure to check that the correct sides of the LED are inserted into the appropriate spot on the breadboard. A potentiometer is essentially a variable resistor. By rotating the dial on its side, we can increase or decrease the amount of electrical resistance it provides to the circuit. Once construction is complete, all that is left to do is try the transmitter and receiver couple out. Our wireless music circuits are finally complete, and now may be a good time to have your students experiment with a few things. Encourage them to see how far apart the transmitter and the receiver can be from one another and still work. Another idea might be to try swapping a clear LED with a red one, or vice versa. Ask your students to do their best in explaining the results that they're seeing, and whether or not those results match those of their classmates. <laughs>